All right. So to the shock of nobody, if you've been watching this channel, Daryl Henderson has been activated from the practice squad and is going to play this weekend. And I'll go as far as to say he's going to be in the primary running back this weekend. Before we get into it, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and send this to somebody who doesn't think Daryl Henderson is either fantasy relevant this week or isn't going to play because he's going to. Anyway, let's let's get into it. So here's a quote uh, from Sean McVay's latest presser. I'm recording this on a Friday, so this is uh, fairly new. Daryl came back in. He's a guy that's going to be up and active this week. He's done a great job of being able to quickly reacclimate himself back to a lot of the things that we've done. He's taken good care of himself in the meantime. When I've heard Sean McVay, uh, by the way, dude's got no poker face whatsoever. When I've heard Sean McVay talk about Daryl Henderson since he's been brought back, all I keep thinking is, is he admitting, without actually admitting it, is he admitting that he was wrong about Daryl Henderson? And not even that he was wrong, but maybe wrong about the way he used him last year. Here's the thing. I think the giant elephant in the room was Cam Akers. I think this is somebody that wasn't in a contract year. They had secured his restricted free agent rights, which gave him a little bit more value. And he's somebody that spent a second round pick on the year after Daryl Henderson. Look, I think that the Rams really tried to salvage the Akers relationship. And unfortunately, Daryl Henderson uh, fell behind because of it. So this is what I'm going to say. Let's stop talking about Cam Akers for a second. Um, we've talked about this, his ability in pass pro is, you know, the run game, the passing game. I know there are two guys currently in this four man running back room. Uh, that's healthy. Of course, in Royce Freeman and Zach Evans, that everyone is assuming, okay, they've been there. They've put in the work. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. This is a league where we've seen CJ Anderson pop right in there and take over the running back room off his couch after Todd Gurley went down with an injury. This is a league where teams now, because of the increased flexibility, and this is their way of expanding the active rosters without actually expanding the 53, their increased flexibility to allow veterans on the practice squad has allowed guys like Kenyon Drake and Melvin Gordon for the Ravens to just come right off and play, uh, you know, just day one. Um, we've seen that. We've seen that different positions as well. We've seen it, you know, defense, offense, whatever. The Rams kicker, Brett Maher, came off of the practice squad three weeks in a row before he was signed to the active roster. So that's what I think the Rams intend to do to keep everything balanced. They're going to keep Henderson on the practice squad. Then they'll probably sign him the active roster if it works out. Well, I think it's going to work out. Uh, first off, most experience with what the Rams like to do out of any of those guys. Miles Gaskin wasn't even the first option. From what uh, I believe it was Ian Rappaport reported earlier is that the Rams tried to sign former Jet, worked with Michael LaFleur, Ty Johnson to the roster. And unfortunately, the Bills went in and they saw that they're trying to sign him from the Bills practice squad. And they act, they made him, you know, they activated him to the active roster uh, with Damian Harris going on IR for them. Hope he's OK. That was a serious injury last week. Um, it made it easier for Ty Johnson to be activated. Ty Johnson is a receiving back who has experience and familiarity with current offensive coordinator, Mike LaFleur. So the Rams pivoted and went out and got Miles Gaskin, who is a good receiving back who has familiarity with kind of what the Rams are doing because of his experience with Kevin O'Connell. So why am I telling you this? Well, it still matters. And here's why Daryl Henderson was the no brainer pickup. We talked about it before they picked him up. And it was a no-brainer. This is this was your opening week starter last year. The only reason why people think he can't work is because they mixed up the offense a little bit more this year. They added more gap. And we already know Daryl Henderson ran gap uh, at Memphis. And I don't I don't have any concerns about Daryl Henderson outside of his injury history. That's the only concern I have. If he could stay healthy. He's a good running back in this league. Is he the best? No. But it's important to realize something because if you are going to bet on him this week or look at him in fantasy, take a look at FanDuel Sportsbook and listen to this. His odds for any time touchdown before his elevation was announced, plus 1,400. So if you spent 
you you bet ten dollars on Daryl Henderson scoring a touchdown before the news came out, you would have won one hundred and forty dollars if it hit. Now it's gone from three ninety after to now it's at one ninety five. Vegas knows something. Henderson's going to get the bulk of the workload. He's run for 12 touchdowns on 43 carries inside the 10 yard line. We've already seen this year. Sean McVay has run the ball. We've seen it. Kyron Williams has taken 24 of the 27 snaps. He's taken 24 of those carries in the red zone. He has six touchdowns on the year. So this is somebody, uh, Sean McVay, who wants to run it in the red zone and I think Daryl Henderson is going to be the guy he trusts the most when points are going to, going to be very much needed in this one. Uh, last year, Daryl Henderson had three touchdowns and only 11 red zone rushing attempts. So this is somebody that has a nose for the end zone. We talk about with Kyron. Daryl Henderson has that. Now, Henderson was rated the 16th running back in all of DVOA last year. He was 8th in 2021 and 4th in 2020. Now, my thing is, you can expect all four. You can expect Royce Freeman, Miles Gaskin, and of course, Zach Evans. But Daryl Henderson is going to lead this backfield, okay? It's going to happen because the Rams don't want to deviate too much from what they were doing with Kyron Williams. And furthermore, they would like to start getting the receiving game going and while Kyron struggled in the receiving game, just there hasn't really been communication there. There hasn't been a connection there. Stafford's overthrown him. He's had drops. There have been interceptions. It hasn't been great. Well, this is one thing where Daryl Henderson excels in, okay? And so does Gaskin. But Henderson knows the things that they want to do, and I think he's going to be able to be in a full-on running back role where he can run the ball, he can pass protect, and he can come out and, and make plays in the screen game. So I'll say this because this video goes to Rams fans. This video goes out to fancy football owners. This fan, this video goes out to any sports betters out there. If you are looking to make some money this week, try throwing some down on Henderson's yard props. Um, whenever they come out, we have no idea what they're going to be, but I think Vegas could get it wrong here. I think it's going to be like 29 and a half. And I would take that all day. I think even alternate lines where you go up, you do a ladder thing. Um, you know, I, I think that might make some sense. Anytime touchdown still makes sense. Two time touchdown scores make sense. And I think in fan duel, just regular fan duel, daily fantasy, um, it makes sense to throw him in a lineup for sure, because I think he's going to be really cheap. I don't know, probably around 5,000. He wasn't listed the last time I checked. It's probably around 5,000. Throw him in your lineup. It's not a great week. So against the 29th ranked run defense, uh, I like that. Here's my last point of the video. I gave you information. I gave you the DVOAs. I gave you the, the touchdowns in the red zone. I've told you countless times how I feel about Daryl Henderson. Okay. Probably nauseating at this point for a lot of people. And I'm sorry, but this is the 29th ranked run defense. It sounds crazy, but sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. The Rams have been a team that's notorious for signing guys out of retirement, signing guys back. We've seen John Johnson. We've seen Malcolm Brown. We've now seen Daryl Henderson. Eric Weddle was signed two years out of retirement. He was signed back. He was a reunion. We've seen reunions, okay? One thing we've also seen, C.J. Anderson, we've seen him go off just coming off his couch. There's no reason to say that Daryl Henderson can't have a good game this Sunday if Sean McVay gives him the opportunity to do so. This is a 29th ranked run defense. Again, 29th ranked. And this is a team that is starting to really find their stride in the run game as far as the blocking standpoint. You see what Steve Avila is doing on film. You see what Kevin Dotson's doing, the number one rated guard according to Pro Football Focus in the league. You know what Havenstein can do. There's going to be zone runs still, so it's not like Henderson can't run zone. He's going to have those opportunities as well as Gap, but I think Gap suits him more, to be honest with you, because he's so great at his vision. He, he sees his blocks, he reads his blocks, he sets them up well, he's quick to react, he knifes his way through the trenches. 
This is somebody that has controlled aggression in the run game. But then what's most important is the fact that he could stay on all three downs in pass protection. So it's not to say he's going to dominate and, you know, have every single, you know, carry and every single reception, every single snap, like seemingly Kyron Williams is doing. Because no, you want to keep him healthy now that you know Kyron and Ronnie are going to be out for a while. But He's going to get the majority and he's going to get enough where he's a viable fantasy option. He's a viable betting option. And most importantly, he's a viable option to get the Rams their fourth win of the season in a pinch. It's not going to be easy, but he's 26 years old and he knows Daryl Henderson knows he has a chance to solidify himself back on this roster, get that 53 man contract because right now he's on the practice squad, sign him the 53 and now at 26 years old, and you've already been some places, not a ton, obviously, you signed with the XFL, and you never even played in the XFL three days before the Rams, and then you, you got claimed by the Jaguars, and you never really got a chance to play with them. You know that this is a good fit. Sean will know this is a good fit if it works out, and he and Kyron Williams could be a legitimate tandem moving forward we could talk about a potential re-signing after the season with Henderson. I don't think he'd be that much money. The running back market is essentially drying up at this point. And I think the Rams would consider paying him two, three million dollars uh, to keep him as a dual backfield threat with Kyron. So I think that's the beauty of this. Sometimes there's a little thing called a blessing in disguise, and you never want to see anyone get hurt. But what if the Rams losing Kyron just saved themselves? from themselves last year they cut daryl henderson they kept cam Akers. cam Akers looked good at the end of the season but of course when push came to shove at the beginning of the year it was the same it was the complaining it was the you know he wants to get you know the role daryl henderson there was you know one comment uh on his twitter people thought it was never going to happen again well, Daryl Henderson is back, and he's got a chance to have a huge redemption arc. But most importantly, and not just about Daryl, he has a chance to keep the Rams afloat while they wait for their star, up, up and coming star, running back. So, in this one, I like Daryl Henderson a lot, and all those props, all those, uh, you know, those bets and fantasy football and so forth. And it's not to say I don't like Zach Evans, but I think Evans is more of a long-term guy. He's going to have to work his way into becoming a solid pass protector because you cannot play in this Sean McVay offense if you cannot block. So I think Zach Evans will probably get the second most carries, but as far as on third down, it's probably going to be Henderson. It's probably going to be Henderson the majority of the time. We could see Royce Freeman, but definitely expect a heavy dose of Daryl Henderson this weekend for the LA Rams in what is hopefully a win against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm Jake Ellenbogen. If you like this, be sure to like it, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and drop a comment. Very curious. Even if you're not even a Rams fan, I'm just very curious to hear some people out here. Um, I've defended this guy tooth and nail. I think he's a really good running back that just simply last year, his worst season was behind the worst offensive line the Rams have had under Sean McVay, a lot of third and fourth stringers. And before that, we've seen him before he got hurt in the 2021 season, he was having his best career season in 2020. He was fourth in DVOA among all running backs. And that's among the best. So when you think about it, Henderson's always been a little bit better than maybe his stats show because he hasn't quite had a great fit. If Sean McVay is willing to consistently run the football and give him opportunities and not just 12 carries, Henderson can go for over 100 in this game and a couple touchdowns. But again, that's all I got for you guys. You guys take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Later, folks. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.